What's up nerds? Welcome to the Nerd Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to take care of some of your old collections. Some of the old games specifically, I'm going to show you how to take care of some cartridges today, how to keep them looking good and functioning well. And if there's any problems, biggest problems you have is when you are trying to insert cards and they're not reading correctly and you got to blow onto them and stuff like that and try to get them to work. I'm going to show you how to take these apart, how to clean them, what you're going to need, and how it should look. So hopefully this is helpful to some of you guys out there. Alright, so now you got your workspace all set up. So these are tools I found on Amazon. You can look under about 10 different things, video game tools, Nintendo tools, whatever. But it's going to give you a couple of things that you're going to need. A couple hex nut removers. And just a couple screwdrivers. And also comes with a scraper, which... It's good for prying open cases, trying to get to other stuff, and these will actually work on lots of video games, and I actually use these to repair my laptop and computer and stuff like that. Perfectly small tools. Tweezers sometimes, you need them. But we're going to start with this one. I actually picked this up at a garage sale. Actually a pretty good one. Pokemon Heart Gold. So, we're going to start with that. Alright, so on the back of this case, you can't really see it too well up here. There is just a little lip. And it's going to let us pry up into there. So that's what this tool is going to be for. Alright. So a little stiff, but they will come apart. Come on. You can run your tool all the way along the edges. So this one's really dirty. You can see on the stuff coming off of it. Ooh, there we go. So then the cart just comes apart like that. And it'll just go back together the exact same way. And you'll just clip it together. We don't want to do that right now. So, this had a little bit of adhesive on there, so if you see a little bit around here, not a big deal. Same thing with here, right where it connects, there's some adhesive. That's just to make sure you don't get into it. It's kind of a safety feature, I guess. Um, Anti-theft more than anything. But what we're looking for here is our board. Nice little thing. So this one, it's not in horrible shape. If you take a look at the electronics, make sure everything looks good on it. Everything's connected, so I have played this, it works but I am having trouble getting it to connect. So, I'm gonna do isopropyl alcohol. So, comes in different percentages, closest to 100, but 91 I have never had any problems with, and it's super cheaper. And this is good on electronics, and it's not going to hurt anything, so we're gonna get a little bit on here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe it across all these pins, connectors, and all these connectors up here. So, these pins actually come around the back. So this is what your board connects to, all your electronics here. It goes to these pins, and these holes, and the holes go to the pins. So if you see any problems with the pins, then your game's not going to work great. But we're just going to wipe this alcohol on here. Let it sit for a second, and wipe it off again. And just go over this two or three times. And you're going to see some of the gunk coming off there. All nice and grody. And this does evaporate fairly quickly, so if you let it sit for too long, it's just going to make a little gunk puddle, a little bit of mud. Anyway, look like connectors off your board. If there's anything mixed, anything broken, anything like that, now is the time to fix it. And once we have that, just a simple put the pin back facing the pins. Everything fits in perfect. Grab our case card. All right, there you go. So on these older ones, a little bit of glue might help put the case back together. But it usually just needs a good little snap and you're ready to roll. And now the pins are bright and shiny. Ooh. So now, on some of the older games, uh, lots of Pokemon games like this one, a couple things you're gonna need to do it. This one's got a three pin connector, or a three, I don't know what you call it, three spline nut in the back. And that's why you need your handy dandy tools. 
we're gonna take this one apart. So I think I've actually already fixed this one up. I can probably do another video on it soon if I can find another game. These cartridges, they slide open. So you slide it up, pop it out, here's your game. So this one, Leaf Green, might actually be counterfeit. It's hard to tell, but it doesn't have a battery. And that's actually, a lot of these older games, especially the Pokemon games, you needed a battery. So this one, we can take a couple looks at it. So it's got Nintendo stamped on the board, and that's a good sign that's not. I'll show you in this Ruby version what I'm talking about for the battery. But we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take our handy dandy Q-tip, get one side not soaking wet, but nice and wet. We're going to run it across our connectors, our pins and our pin connectors. Get that logo shining, looking nice and good. Make sure it's wet. You can see, see it kind of shining, kind of shining. And we're going to take this across here. And this one's been cleaned actually fairly recently. But you're going to see just a little bit of use, especially sitting on a counter, sitting in these other games and stuff like that. You just get gunk built up on it and on these connectors and stuff, and it makes it harder to play. But then make sure everything's good. Check out your connectors. Slide your board back in. Same thing with the other one. There's only really one way it can go. And this slides in. Halfway. Slide it up. Make sure everything's lined up good. And you get to screw it back in. Nice if you buy the right set, and there's about a thousand of these sets of screws, drivers, and everything. Get the magnetic. If it specifically says magnetic, that's going to help you. Especially with all these tiny little things. And... Yep, so here's this one. I'm actually going to have to do a little bit of work on it. Oh! Stickers, stuff like that. Scraper, also really good. Getting these edges to peel up. And pulling our stickers off. Also, we got some nice leftover residue. Isopropyl alcohol is amazing for pulling up sticker residue. Get it nice and globby on there. So I got this one from GameStop, I believe. Now I'll get all nice and gooped on there. Never let it touch your graphics. It will eat through the graphics, and it is a big pain to try and find new graphics, especially for the shiny games. And we can wipe this off here. You can use cotton swabs. I just happen to have lots of uses, or my family has lots of uses for Q-tips, so I've always got these lying around. Wipe it off, and our residue from the sticker, gone. That's actually really nice. So I'm probably actually going to have to do it this game. But... When we peel this off, same thing, pull our screw out, it's going to pull sideways, and you get our board, so on board, it's got some little oogie things on there, nothing major, nothing broken anyways, got our battery. So this one, it's actually got a decent battery life left in there, and it tells you what kind of battery it needs, but what you have to do to get these off is you actually have to pop some solders there and underneath, pull the battery out, put a new one in. And I find electrical taping it in works just as good as trying to solder a battery, and it's a lot safer. <laughs> but yeah, so this one I can show you a little bit better how this alcohol works. So, gotta be careful with where you set your board, but they are not the most fragile things in the world. So you can see we've got some residue build up on some of our lines, connectors. We're just going to gently rub the alcohol on here. You don't want to scrape it, you just want to rub it around. Get on the back of the connectors. Same thing as what we did on the case, just kind of get it around there. Make sure the entire thing gets a good wet coating. And before it starts to evaporate, clean it off with the dry side. And if you do buy cheap Q-tips, which I have here, it might leave a little bit of a residue behind, or not residue, a uh, fluff.
behind. Bam. And we got a nice looking cartridge now. Residue's gone. And the pins, same thing. You can see there's some black on the pins right down here. Easy to take care of. Nice purple alcohol. Great for everything. See the alcohol starting to eat away at some of that residue already. And it's good to get around the battery connector. So if the battery does sit in here for a while, there will be a little bit of acid corrosion sometimes, especially on older games. And it's just a little bit that sits on top. And this isopropyl alcohol, I'm going to say a thousand times because it's amazing, will actually help clean up some of that acid residue and clean our pins up just nice. Perfect. Blackness is gone. Pin looks super shiny. So, back of the case looks good. Inside, it's got some of that gross stuff. Get ourselves a new Q-tip. Let it just glob it in there. Make sure it's all nice and wet. Spread it around. And that's where we got our original on the back here. All that gross stuff was probably in here. Maybe either a battery leak most likely just a little bit of condensation got in there and just kind of made some of the plastic and stuff warp. And we'll just go in here and clean it all out. It's going to make this case look nice and bright and shiny. And if you don't get every tiny little part dried off, this alcohol again dries super nice. And you can feel it. There's a little bit of sticky stuff right there. So and this one has the battery and that leaf green didn't, which doesn't necessarily mean it's a counterfeit, but the first runs did have batteries. And these older games like this one here, nice big battery inside of it. Boom. So not perfect, but a lot of that residue is gone now. Oop, try to get a little bit more. I'm going to do the same thing for the front of the case here. Mm, it's actually not so bad. Clean up the edges, make sure it connects, fits good. Make it look nice and bright and shiny. So from the front of the case, like I said, you really don't want to get the graphics with the alcohol. But you can try and get around as best you can, try and make this thing look shiny. There are websites, if you do ruin your graphic, you can go on site. Those or go to those websites, find them, and they'll like, give you a print off. But with these ones, especially the shiny, yeah, really hard to replicate, almost impossible. But they make it look decent again. Cool. I put our board back in. Our nice shiny case, shiny board. Again, goes in just a little low, slides up. Oop. Another thing watch for is this little area down in here where the screw fits. It gets nice and gunky and then it won't hold good. Your screw will only go in part way. Oh yeah, you can see all that gunk coming out of there. And if it doesn't go in all the way, the case doesn't want to sit perfect. And not usually not a huge problem, but it can be if it gets extra gunky. Magnetic. Especially with people that have hand problems like me, magnetic is the best. All right, there we go. Looks better, no stickers, clean, ready to go, ready to play. And if you keep up on this every so often, every year or so, take it off, clean up the pins, your games are gonna last a lot longer. And bam, there we go. We got three games nice and cleaned up, ready to go, and just kind of shows you how to do it. On some games like this, you will have a set screw right there that you got to take off. Same thing, board sets just perfectly. And you'll actually use one of these. And it'll come right out. Um, if it does not go back together, just get yourself a little bit of uh, model cement. You don't want to use super glue or you're going to have a hard time getting it back off. Again, to clean it, a little bit of model cement, rubber cement, just to kind of keep it held in there and just on the plastic to make sure it does not touch the board. <laughs> but yeah. That's how to keep your collection looking nice and clean. So thanks for watching.
Thank you for checking out another one of my videos. If you're interested in any more, I've got a couple lined up right here. And if you haven't yet, click the icon in the center to subscribe to my channel. And remember, have fun out there.